the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast, the only podcast devoted to making soul music relevant again. Let's get started with your host, Todd Woodson. Thank you for joining me for another episode of the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast. My guest today is a talented singer-songwriter out of Oslo, Norway. His name is Janos. Janos, how you doing today, sir? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Good, good. Welcome to the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, now before we get started, uh, we were just talking offline and... Um, um, you know, with everything going on with the coronavirus, how are you holding up and how, how's everything in Norway? Well, it's kind of like uh, self, or like maybe, maybe not self-isolation, but like isolation uh, at the moment. So I'm just cooping at home, <laughs> like everyone else. So. Yeah, yeah, I'm in California and things are kind of crazy out here, but I uh, just want to, you know, kind of test base and uh, make sure everything and everybody is safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not sick. Please. Okay, fantastic. Now, um, you have a new single that's out called Sicky Sticky. Um, yeah. We're going to talk about that in a couple of minutes. But before we do, uh, let's get a little bit about a little bit more about your background. Now, you said you're in Oslo, but give us a little bit more about your background. Like, where were you born? Uh, I was born in Gothenburg in uh, Sweden. Sweden. OK. And how did you end up uh, in Oslo? Well, I basically moved to Oslo uh, after moving to London. So, so I stayed in London for like uh, three years. Uh, and I played music in London. And then I moved um, to Oslo like two years ago now. Um, because it's like a convenient city and like it's, it's like a small community and it's like easy to get everywhere and yeah, easier to like rehearse and, and just do music in general. So. That's okay. one. And it's All the same right. language as Swedish as well, so it's kind of like super close. Gotcha. Okay. And um, now, did you come from a, um, a musical background, or how did the how did the interest in music come about? Okay. Uh, probably because I just like melodies. So when I was like small, I, I think when I was small, I played the uh, piano. I mean, I, I know I did, but yeah, when I was uh, growing up, I played piano and. Uh, then I just taught myself to play guitar. I think it's just because I've always like been around music somehow. Okay. Playing a lot of music to me when I was like small and yeah, growing up. Okay. Now, who were um, uh, who were some of your uh, influences uh, growing up music musically? Oh, uh, really bad ones when I was like <laughs> Well, it was like Ricky Martin and like Enrique Iglesias and stuff. Not not bad, but you know, yeah. Maybe not the coolest stuff to like mention. But yeah, so it was kind of like those things, and those people. And also like later I got into like more proper music, uh, like Bruno Mars and like the 75 and that kind of more progressive music somehow. Okay. So yeah. Bruno Mars. And... Anything with like good melodies. I guess. Okay. Now, when I first heard uh, Sicky Sticky, I thought, I really thought Motown. I thought Big Band. I thought uh, instruments. And so, like I said, we're going to get into that a little bit. Um, yeah. Is this your debut um, single that's coming out? No, it's, uh, it's actually my fifth single so far. So I've just been releasing songs like recording, releasing, and just going along. Um, but it's actually the first one with like the full band that I use live as well, which is actually like with, uh, you know, trumpets and sax and like, yeah, the whole thing. So we're like an eight piece band when we play live. Okay. So, and super Motown influenced as well, obviously. So. Yeah, that's what I first thought when I heard uh, Sticky Stick at that Motown. And uh, so obviously Motown, was an influence at some point. Yeah, definitely. 
I used to uh, love listening to like the, the Four Tops and uh, like Curtis Mayfield and just really cool like Stevie Wonder and that kind of stuff as well. So uh, yeah. Okay. I guess basically all, all Motown music is really cool and I like the like tempos and like how the soundscape is so like big and vibrant as mm-hmm. well. That's well, you can't go wrong with you can't go wrong with Motown as an influence. Tell me, I tell you, uh, what was your um, was your family uh, into music as much as you, or did they enjoy music? Was music played around the house a lot, or? Uh, my dad was playing like Bruce Springsteen and stuff, and my mom was playing a lot of like Beatles and like Simon and Garfunkel and stuff. So, so yeah, I guess they liked music, but not not in the same way. So they didn't like like or like yeah, play. Okay. Just yeah. curious, uh, what do they think about your music now? What do you think? What do they think about Sicky Sticky? I think it's a cool song, uh, but it's actually like they, they think I do like different styles every time, which I actually do. So I mean, they kind of see the game. So yeah, that's what I'm trying to do anyway. So yeah. Okay. Did you? Um, we're, let's talk about Sticky Sticky since we're, um, since yeah. we're into it. Let me first ask you about your name, though, Janos. Yeah. It's, where did, where did that come from? Is that is that your given name or is that a nickname? What is that? No, it's, it's actually a unique name. Yeah, it is kind of. I guess it's uh, it's actually a Hungarian name because my mom is from Hungary, and uh, yeah, it's actually my real name. So yeah. Okay. When I first when I first heard it or read it, I thought Thanos from the Avengers. I said Thanos, Janos. So. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, so yeah. let's let's talk about Sicky Sticky. Um, now, uh, did you collaborate with anyone on that, or is that just all you? No, I mean, um, usually what I do is like I write songs, and then I um, usually show it to like my guitarist, and he adds parts, uh, like guitar parts and maybe riffs and stuff and uh, yeah we like arrange a song with the band as well and then it's like recorded with, with the producer so uh, yeah. that's now, okay so you just mentioned that uh, you did some previous songs too um were those um were those released as well or um what happened to those i mean were those like produced independently and they were released or how did they how did they do they did pretty well, uh, especially one called Zero, which did pretty well. It's just like, um, I just started releasing with like a small indie label in Oslo. So I, I'm just testing the waters with like new songs all the time. So I'm not like aiming to, to have like, you know, millions of streams at this point anyway. So it's kind of like just testing new songs. Okay. They did like fairly well and they get me um, gigs and, you know, those kind of things. So yeah, all the other songs are like released as well. Um, so we're on Spotify. Yeah. Okay. Now is this uh, now Sicky Sticky? Is that the first of? Um, is that the first song from an album that's coming out or? Yeah, basically. So so the plan is. I mean, the plan was uh, until the Corona uh, hit us, uh, right. was to like record songs um, and release them like uh, until the summer like almost a song every month and then just have like an EP or like an album coming out at the end of the year okay just okay. like the songs and so on yeah okay but obviously corona kind of yeah corona is kind of like delay and everything right now so yeah um, yeah well good luck with that um okay um so what else should we know about, well, first of all, are you, um, well, when, like I said, when Corona gets done doing its thing, um, are you going to, do you plan on touring in particular, are you, do you plan on touring in the U.S.? Uh, I would love to, actually. That would be like really, sorry, <laughs> that would be like a really cool, uh, cool thing. But basically, we've done like um, Europe a lot. So we played a lot of uh, shows in England, uh, London, actually like Germany and Denmark and Sweden and so on. Um, so we actually had like loads of gigs booked and also festivals and stuff. And uh, now it's all up in the air, so I'm, I'm not sure how it's gonna be like. Yeah, I think it's a lot uncertain in the air, right? Yeah, 
So oh, okay. it's too hard to say like when when we're gonna play again and like how it's gonna be like on, in the fall or whatever. So yeah. Okay. At the moment. Okay. So, so what was the um, what was the motivation behind Sicky Sticky? What what um, I mean, it's a great song. I love it. Um, but tell me a little bit about, more about the, the process and 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 getting that done. Yeah, well, the song is about like um, hibernation, I guess. Somehow, it's about like um, doing things that are not good for you to like you know ease your mind, basically. And be like anything like drugs, alcohol, whatever, just to, to like um, not having to um, face your own ambitions somehow, trying to hide be behind stuff just to like you know hibernate and just still hoping to like achieve what you want to achieve. Okay, yeah, yeah, because I'm, I'm like super ambitious and uh, I always like uh, have so many ideas and shit in my head. Uh, and um, I stress myself a lot to to get things done, and sometimes it gets too much, basically. Okay. Yeah, it's about that. Basically. I'm still hoping to like you know achieve something good. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So um, yeah, when I first read the uh, title, there's another term. I don't know if they use it there, but it's another term here called sticky icky. But, yeah. But that means something totally different. So. Anyway, we won't, we won't go into that. All right, Janos, we're going to um, take a break and uh, get into Sicky Sticky. This is Janos with Sicky Sticky. Enjoy. Swag at shop.bringbacksoulmusic.com Now, back to our conversation. All right, Janos, we're back. Great song. Um, let me ask you, um, uh, how's the song been received uh, in, in Europe, basically? Well, I mean, I, I've got really good like press coverage and features and stuff from really cool magazines like Darien's and uh, Medium and Earmilk and so on. So yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. I read your bio that your, um, your team sent me, and uh, it seemed like you get a lot of airplay on the BBC, which is which is pretty big, right? Yeah, especially well on the on the side, you know, like BBC or uh, supporting artists, whatever. Yeah, yeah, that is cool. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, now, people you work with, what what producers did you work with uh, on this particular uh, this particular thing? Well, on this one, I worked with a guy called uh, Mar Marcus. Um, I need to check this really fast because because I'm, okay. I'm really bad with names. But um, uh, Marcus Forstwim, and he's a really cool like guitarist in a really cool band called Jaga Jazzist, which is a Norwegian big band, um, experimental stuff. And he has a really cool studio, and uh, that studio has recorded like loads of like progressive uh, indie music as well, okay. which is big in Norway right now. So, yeah. Okay. Um, so what, um, are there any people who you haven't worked with that you want to work with, uh, perhaps, if you get a chance to work with going forward? Yeah. Uh, I would love to work with, like, Google Mars or something like that. That would be, okay. yeah. yeah. I said, I'm really bad with names, but yeah. 
any cool producer is, is like, <laughs> you can work with them. Like, All right. Basically. What's the, uh, I've never traveled to uh, Europe, but what's the, what's the music scene like in uh, Oslo and London and Sweden? Yeah. Um, it's really like, Oslo is really vibrant because it's like such a small city. And so all the really, I would say like good musicians and like good bands are like kind of tightly, basically hanging out. So, so everyone knows everyone and that makes it um, so much easier to like collaborate and stuff. Uh, I would say the music scene is like really into indie and like progressive uh, experimental jazz and R&B. Um, and also like hip hop and, and obviously hip hop and R&B is really big as well. And oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Now you, you are a, uh, are you an independent artist or are you, uh, are you with a, a label or a major label, mid label? Um, I'm with, with an indie label. Indie so label. I'm, I'm not sure how to, <laughs> how to label myself. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, so what's next for you, uh, Janos? I know kind of everything is sort of on pause right now because of uh, Corona, but, you know, let's say Corona ended, you know, next week. Um, what's what's the plan going forward? Well, playing a shitload of gigs. Um, that was the original plan. And also uh, I'm releasing a music video for um, Sicky Sticky um, very soon. I'm getting it like reviewed tonight actually um so, so that is the cool thing and also i'm, I'm releasing more musicals so i got a new song coming out in april another one in june i guess and yeah just okay. keep going yeah 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 well um uh janos I, I appreciate you coming on the show today man it was uh it was excellent meeting you um likewise and I, I like uh sticky sticky it's a great song I'm sure other people will like it too once they hear it. And um, anything else you want to add before we before we go? Mm, not really. I mean, thank you so much for having me, and uh, really, really nice talking to you as well. And uh, thanks for the kind of words on the music. And uh, yeah, if people want to check out the other music, it's on Spotify. Yeah. Where can people uh, reach out to you or contact you? Uh, they can go to www.janosmusic.com or they can find me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, SoundCloud, YouTube, uh, yeah, and all the streaming services. Okay. All right. And that's Janos, J A N O S. Yes, Janos oh. Music. Yeah. Okay. okay. And like I said, we'll have links uh, to Janos Music on our uh on the show notes on our youtube channel and also on the uh on our website at bringbacksoulmusic.com janos it was a pleasure meeting you sir uh thank you for taking the time and uh good luck with everything man i hope it all works out soon thank you you too <laughs> all right enjoy thank you and what time is it over there in uh in oslo in, in oslo land it's uh 7 25 okay yeah so it's not too late I didn't want to keep you up too late. No, no, I'm good, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Janos. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. That's Janos from Oslo, Norway. Have a great night. And this is the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast, and we'll be right back. Calling all lovers of soul music. The time to make soul music relevant again is now. You've been listening to the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast with Todd Woodson. If you enjoyed today's show, be sure to tell a friend. Make sure you never miss an episode by subscribing to our newsletter at bringbacksoulmusic.com. Well, that's our show for today. I'd like to thank my special guest, Janos. You can find out more about Janos on his social media sites as well as his webpage, where we'll have links on our website at bringbacksoulmusic.com. Don't forget, you can listen to the Bring Back Soul Music podcast on iTunes, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, and Spotify. If you have any questions or comments, please email us at comments at bringbacksoulmusic.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Bring Back Soul Music TV. Well, that's our show for today. Thank you for joining us. I'm Todd Woodson. See you next week.